Hello and welcome to Technical Skills YouTube channel. This is Shafaqat Ali with another video of Android development. So in the last video, we have completed the email password authentication and also we have performed the Google sign-in authentication. So now in this video, we will perform the Facebook authentication. So this is very easy authentication. Just we have to follow few steps. So first of all, we have to connect over project to Firebase. So we have to click on the tool and click on the Firebase. And here we have to select the authentication. So just click it. And here we have to click on the Facebook login. And here you can see we have already connected over Firebase project with this Android Studio because I have already performed the email and password authentication and also I have performed the Google sign in authentication. So if I open my browser and here we have that project that I already connected with over Android Studio. So first of all, we have to create the application inside developer.facebook.com. So here I will open developer.facebook.com and here we need to click on my apps. And here I have created already my test app. So in this video, we will create the new app. So create and click on the create app. And here we have to click on the last one. Something else. And here we have to provide the application name. So let's say I type here Firebase auth all and here I have select this one and just click on create app okay here I have to provide my password so here I will pass my password and click on submit okay now click on the settings and click on the basics Okay, now here you can see we have app ID and app secret. So we have to open over project Firebase project and here we have to click on the authentication and select sign in methods. And here we have to click on the Facebook authentication added configuration and just click on the enable. And here we have to provide the app ID and app secret. So just open over Facebook ID. So here we have to copy the app ID and here we have to paste that one and then we have to paste the app secret so here i will click on the show and here i will copy the app secret and here i will pass that app secret and just copy this link and click on the save now okay now click on see save changes and here we have to click on the dashboard Okay, now click on the Facebook login and click on setup. Okay, now click on the Android. And here you can see we have different options quick start. So just click on the settings. So here we have to provide the OAuth link. So here I will copy the OAuth link that we have copied from the login method. So here I will click on the save changes. Okay, now click on the quick start and here we have to select the Android and now we have to download the Android SDK or you can simply paste the dependency. So I will paste the dependency. I will click on the next and here we have to add the Mammon repository. So here I will copy it and go to Android Studio. So here we have to hide it and open build.gradle module file. Sorry, first one and here I will paste that one and just click on the sync now and now we will add the dependency so here i will copy the dependency and open my android studio build.gradle module file and here i will paste that dependency okay now click on the sync now and click on the next and here you have to add the package name so here i will copy the package name so go to manifest file and here we will copy the package name so i will copy the package name and here i will paste that one and here we will paste the same package name with launcher activity so my launcher activity is main activity so here i will pass main activity and click on the save and click on this use this package and click on the continue okay now we have to create the hash key so best and easy way to create the hash keys just we have to open a link hex to base64 we have to search this one 
and we have to open this link okay now open android studio so here we have to click on the gradle and we have to select our project task and android then we have to double click on the signing report we have to get the sha1 key so here we have sha1 key so i will copy it and inside this link we will paste the hex code and just click on the convert hex to 64 so i will copy the hex code sorry hash key so i will open the application again and here we have to paste so here we have input field so here i will paste it and click on the save and then click on the continue okay now again click on the next and here we have to paste the string files inside string so i will copy it and open file and here we will paste the open the string and here we will paste that files sorry that string okay now let me open it into app okay so now close it and go to again browser and here we will copy the permission so we have to add the internet permission so i will open android studio again so here we will open manifest file and here we have to paste the internet permission okay now we have to add this metadata tag so here i will copy this metadata tag and again we have to open our manifest file and inside application tag we will add that metadata tag okay now close the manifest file okay now click on the next and again click on the next okay now here you can see we have login button so we will not use this built-in login button we have already performed the login button so if i open my activity xml so here you can see we have image view for facebook button so we will initialize inside our main activity so here we will create image view and btn facebook we will initialize it inside on create method okay now we will set a click listener so here we have to set click listener btn facebook dot set on click listener new on click listener so we can also perform the facebook authentication in same page so but i will use a uh, different activity so i will right click here and select empty activity so here we have to select this activity and use here facebook auth and click on finish okay now here we have no need of facebook authentication auth.xml so if i open this one so here you can see this is empty so we have no need of this xml code so just remove this one and we will use the same activity in this activity so here i will extend with main activity so because our main activity have facebook button so that's why i'm using the same activity and here i have extended it so here we have to open the next activity so here i will create the intent let me copy the intent so here i will copy the intent so here i have opened the facebook auth activity and here i have set the animation so when we click on this button we will open the next activity without any animation okay so we will perform all the code inside facebook authentication in this activity so we will go back to our browser and here we will open the documentation of the firebase facebook authentication so here i will search firebase authentication android and here i will click on the get started with facebook and here we have to select the facebook login okay now first step we have to add the dependency these dependency are already added inside our project let me open build our gradle multiplayer file and here you can see we have already added these dependency because we have already performed the other authentications okay next step we have to add our callback manager so we have to open the facebook documentation and here we have to click on the next 
now we have to copy few codes so here i will scroll down so here we have to copy this code let me copy this code and inside our project here i will paste that code okay now here we have to create the callback manager so here i will create callback manager and simply call it callback manager okay so if i open my documentation of the firebase so here you can see here we have different code so this code is actually for building facebook button so we will not using the building facebook button because we have already created a different button so if i open activity main.xml here you can see we have simple button that is image view so we will not use that code so that's why i have created different so we will create just copy this one token and we will paste at this place okay now we will copy the next method so here i have to open this one and just simply copy this method and here we will paste outside on create method and here we have login manager callback manager so we will add that one and next step that we have to copy the method handler facebook token so here i will copy it and here we will paste that one okay now we have to create the access permissions so here we have to copy the access permissions so let me go back to code and here we have to search the access permission so here you can see here we have access permission so you can copy it from here or you can copy from this documentation so here you can see we have again permission so this is for building facebook button so we will not using the building facebook button so we have to paste the permission here so let me add here login manager dot get instance dot sign in with read permission login with read permission and first parameter we have to pass here context and the second parameter we have to pass here arrays dot as list so here we will pass this public profile so here i will copy it and just simply paste it here so this line is for building facebook button because we are not using the building facebook button that's why i have created the login manager and read permission okay so we have to remove this docket and again we have to remove this one and here we have to create this method so here i will open the next activity so let me create the intent intent equal to new intent and this is our facebook activity dot this and target activity is over home activity so here i will open the home activity dot class and here i will start activity and then i will open pass the intent okay so here we have to remove this tag also we have to show the toast message i will remove this toast and here i will create the new toast okay so here i will pass the task dot get exception so here we have to show the exception so here i will remove the facebook okay okay now let me check if there is any other error okay perfect so now we have to open our browser and open facebook app so here we have to check if any other method is remaining so all are done here you can see we have already over login manager dot get instant dot login permission is available so just click on it and that's it so now we have to click here in development mode so here we have to provide the privacy policy so just we have to click on the settings and click on the basic so here we have to provide the link of the privacy policy so for now i am just adding the random privacy policy because i did not created the privacy policy so here i will open the privacy policy link so this is not for over purpose just giving for testing purpose so here i will open the facebook and here i will provide the privacy policy link and just click on the save changes and click on this use package name 
okay now click on the in development mode okay now click on switch mode okay now you here you can see our application is live now so here we have error so we have to click on the inbox so just click on the attention okay okay perfect so over code is done so we have to run the application and let's test it okay our application is successfully running so let's click on this facebook button and here you can see it's loading and here you can see i have already logged in on my account facebook account so just click on my account and here you can see it's going to log in that's it my next activity is open that is home activity so over facebook authentication is completed so in this way you can create facebook authentication it's very easy we have to initialize the callback manager we have to give the permission and we have to call this registered callback manager and finally we have to open the facebook auth token so just everything we have to do just copy paste the code nothing is different here difficult here so follow the step and that's it so if you have any question any problem let me know in the comment section please like my video share my video and subscribe my channel see you next video take care